Hello, welcome to my tutorial for the Demon Slayer game. The name is uh, the name comes from uh, from an anime from Japan. You can type the the name on Google and uh, see that series. Okay. So I uh, I will place the game before I before we start it okay so for this game I just create a map and uh, ten zero ten zero is the name in the series All right this is a very simple game because I I have enough time to uh, to go all the character and and all the animation uh, it will take me a lot of time so I just I just show you uh, the things I think uh, that enough for uh, create a tutorial but I will I will complete some I will call more some function to share you maybe in the end of the, the, the series but now I will use this this code to uh, to share you. All right. So as you can see, I can control the main character go around on the map like here, and I I also create uh, the skill for this character. You can press A to. Uh, Okay, to make a skill and you can create a slot and you can you can even make a dragon like this okay very interested right all right so uh, for this tutorial series I will show you create a 2d game from scratch by using Java programming language and in this I'll give you knowledge about game loop game animation manage your object in game and accelerate so in uh, this video I will show you create a game window and you can modify you can override the method to draw a, a simple rectangle on the screen that is very basically uh, thing to create a game. Okay, and here this is the the whole code for the project. You can get the the link to download the code below the video. And uh, if you want to to uh, read the article, the tutorial by article, you can go to my website tbgamecoding.com here to uh, to read the, the article alright so let's start it first you need to create an empty project named demon slayer tutorial like this you can create a new project and for this I use netbin id you can see here I very, very recommended you to create this uh, this tool because uh, because the project based on the the netbin uh, the netbin projects. So uh, for for easy easily to uh, to create and to learn, you need to use the uh, the same ID like me. Okay, so uh, just create the new project by click the file and create a new project and choose the Java and choose the Java application and click next and then you put the name for a project and choose the, the path the direction for your project and click the finish alright and after you click finish a empty project like this will create it 
and in the sort package you just create a, a package name maybe uh, tb game dot okay tb game coding dot ui and click finish in here right i just cloud this here you will create a java class named main right then you create the the entry point for the for the project sorry this is it to a previous study provide some arguments and and here you can all right we need to create a j frame i use the the j frame to create a window on the desktop and in here you just create the new object for for this variable right okay so just remove it I will set it in inside the method and uh, here you just set the size for the for the frame the size come from okay the size with the width equal a hundred and the height is seven hundred and twenty the unit based on pixel then you just says visible and put the parameter true for the for the method okay and just click run okay all right so after that we just create a window game like this on the screen and now we need to draw something on the screen to do that we need to override the method pane in the J frame and to override the method we need to create a child class for the J frame so that we need to create another class in the package UI and put the name game frame I stand from the Z frame and in the constructor I will set the size all right before I create it I just show you something as you can see here on the on the bottom of the ID you can see the demon slayer tutorial programming is running right now uh, in uh, instead of closing by uh, by clicking on the cloud button before yeah that's uh, that's happened because I uh, I didn't set the 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 exit by clouding the button cloud on the J frame, so I just click here to uh, terminate the program and to cloud the whole program. We need to set the default cloud operation. Push the J frame 
places on clouds. By adding this lots of codes, you uh, you set the the event that uh, uh, that uh, clouds the program when you click on the the button cloud on the J frame like this. You can see here. All right. After that, you need to set the size for the Z frame. All right. So we need to put the variable, the constant for for this screen width equal a hundred. We need to define the constant here to uh, to use it in uh, some situation. Okay, sorry. Screen hey, and here we just push the screen width and the screen hey, and set the size. Sorry, set visible true and go back to the main class here. I just create new game frame and run it. You can see after create a class game frame, we also create a, a game window like this. And now we need to override the method pen here on the netbin. You can type pen and press Control and press Pay for the suggestion. And to the pen here, you will generate the method. So you can save the time to uh, to write to type it and in here you need to call the the super pen this pen will draw the background for the game frame and after that you will use the graph and draw a rectangle and you can see on the suggestion here you can see the s and the y is the coordinated for the for the rectangle it's uh, begin from the left and top and the uh, width and the height for the rectangle and uh, here you just put 20 right Two hundred and for the width, I will put a hundred, and here like this, and just run. All right. So after that, we already do a rectangle on the on the game window. And uh, before I uh, be before I uh, explain something more, I will I will explain. All right. So. For the for the root coordinator in the in the window, you can see on the uh, the coordinate come from uh, the top to the down and the left to right like this. So that's why the the roots come from top left here. Zero and zero is is on the top left, and here. On the top left of the right is the S and the Y. It's also be 200 for S and 200 for the Y here. And the order for the wick and the hay of the rectangle. Alright, so that's it for this video. And uh, for next, I will show you to create a game loop.
Alright, and thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.